So to find the viscosity of the gas, um, we're going to be using equations 3.733 through 3.76. Um, so those equations are mu g is going to equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 4 times k, which is a constant, e to the x, which is a constant, times rho g to the y power. So that's all in the exponent right there. Um, k is going to equal 9.379 plus 0 0.01607 times the molecular weight of the gas times t to the 1.5 all divided by 209.2 plus 19.26 times the molecular weight of the gas plus T. These temperatures will be in ranking, by the way, so that's important to note. Um, all the T's in this equ these equations will be for viscosity gas. Um, X is going to equal 3.448. Plus 986.4 over T plus 0 0.01009 times the molecular weight of the gas. And Y is going to equal 2.447 minus 0 0.2224 times x. So the first thing we can solve, we can either solve for k or x first. I'll solve for x first. Um, so it's going to be 3.448 plus 986.4 divided by your temperature ranking, which will be 580 plus 0 0.01009. times your molecular weight of gas, which we solved earlier, which is 20.279. And that's pound per pound mole. So this is going to equal 5.353. So this one next. So K is going to equal 9.7.379 plus 0 0.01607 times 20.279 all times 580 to the 1.5 power divided by 180. So K is going to equal 114.9. And then Y will just equal, just by plugging in X that we already found. That's two point, by the way, 2.447. Times five point. Where Y is going to equal 1.25. 649. Plugging these in, uh, density of gas for, this is at 2000 PSI by the way, forgot to write it down, but that's what it was that we found earlier. So then we can find our viscosity of our gas, which is going to equal, our gas viscosity should be 0 0.01298. It's important to note in this equation, which I may have said incorrect earlier, this rho g needs to be in terms of gram per centimeter and it can't be in terms of pound per uh, foot cubed or you're going to have very high values for viscosity. So to convert from grams, uh, to convert from uh, pound per foot cubed to grams per uh, cc, it's in the notes. Um, so the equation we'll be using is going to be rho g in terms of gram per cc it's going to equal 1.4935 times 10 to the negative third times your molecular weight 
of your gas, which is going to be 20.279 times your pressure, which is going to be 2,000 psi. And then this is all going to be divided by Z, which was 0 0.825, I believe. And then times your temperature, which temperature will have to be in ranking, which is going to be 580. And so this will give us a row of gas, which is equal to 0 0.12659 grams per cc, which this will be plugged in to up here. So with having those constants as it is, you should get this. I'll just make sure which you, you get something close. It's zero. I got 0 0.0126, uh, one seven, which is pretty close to that. So um, that's how you find viscosity of a gas uh, below bubble point. In terms of like what's really important in this problem, it's not necessarily the equation itself. It's more about the concepts uh, and seeing the trends. So like, for example, like your gas oil ratio, like so if I were to uh, draw in terms of a graph, this would be your pressure. This would be your gas oil ratio. So as your pressure increases, um, your gas oil ratio is going to increase as well up until you reach bubble point and then it's going to be constant. So this would be your bubble point pressure, for example. And like I said earlier, because you can't dissolve any more gas into your like reservoir oil and so like you're not going to have a higher GOR, your gas uh, oil ratio. So that's important to note. Um, so that's why you don't have to worry about GORs above bubble point. And like same with BO, like I said earlier, your BO is going to at first it's going to like increase and then at once you reach bubble point it's going to like fall back down just because like you're not going to be able to dissolve any more gas so it's going to be able to be compressed more um not necessarily compressed more but you're not going to take up gas volume so that's why it's going to be able to be compressed um so this would be pressure and this would be bo and so like noting that your formation volume factor of oil is always going to be highest at your bubble point pressure it's always going to be the lowest at your lowest pressure which at standard conditions it will be one because that's what a stock tank, uh, whatever you say your stock tank conditions to, it would be one. Um, and like with a Z factor, make sure you're uh, using the right units. Um, like for these equations, all these equations, you need to make sure you're using the right temperature. Um, and just like with this viscos viscosity of gas, you need to make sure you're using the right density. So knowing which equations and which units uh, to use for them are very important. Um, and so like, as we said also like with the gas, we don't really care about the properties above bubble point just because we, there really is no free gas in the reservoir at that point. Um, and so we just can ignore calculating any values because it wouldn't give us values that made sense anyway. So, and that's pretty much like what the most important stuff is from the first problem.